Um, hello. Good afternoon. How you doing today? Uh, today I'm be showing you guys how to create a fusion table with um, Google Maps and um, Excel. So it's number three right here on the on our prerequisites. And uh, now let's go ahead and get right into it. So uh, I downloaded this Excel sheet. Um, it's labeled MIS Final Project. And um, basically, it's street addresses, um, sale prices for them home for some homes, um, building size, lot size, X, Y, and Z. Um, pretty standard information, pretty deep. Forty-three, forty-four rows. So, um, yeah, addresses. So for for us to get this into a Google Drive, into a um, Google table. Fusion table, we need to create a full address column. And so for the full address column, we'll have to let me widen that out a little bit. Um, we'll have to take these street addresses combined with the city, with the state, with the postal code, all that. So let's go right here and let's go. There's a function that creates this, it's called the concatenate function. There it is right there. Wait a second. There it is. All right, and this basically allows you to combine different columns, different um, information together. So I'm going to take A2 and then also, so I'm going to also add in a space in between so that they don't run together. So it'll be 4702 Clayton Road space. You insert that space by using. Um, I'm not sure. That's not a parenthesis. That's uh, whatever that is. <laughs> and then you insert a space in between it, comma, next. And then the postal code. All right. Now that's what we want because we want for a full address, you need the street address, city, state, and postal code. So now you see I have a full address right there. I'm going to drag it out, double click it right there to make it all extend. And then I'm going to copy and paste this formula all the way down. So I'm going to shift, drag it down to 44. And let's see. Copy. All right. Command V is paste. And so basically it just pasted the formula on out. And I'm going to double click that so I can get all of these within the same area. I'm going to I'm going to bold this to keep it along with everything else that I had going on earlier. Okay. And now I'm going to save it as an Excel sheet. I'm going to keep, um, put it in my documents, save it as an Excel workbook. And um, MIS final project, let's put dot fusion table. Save that. Now let's pull up my Google Drive. Okay. Now Google Drive is a unique app and it allows you to do upload and share all of your productions. Right here I got some movies that I did for another one of my classes, some um, executive summaries, a whole lot of different things. So right now I'm going to upload um, my MIS final project for a fusion table. It takes a little while, not even that long. All right, so now you wanna create, you wanna create it as a fusion table. And um, this is an app, you have to connect more apps if it's not on there. I just added mine on there a little earlier. So, oh, put my password back in. Should be me. 
Yeah. All right. And now I'm going to choose file from the computer, from this computer. MIS. Next. Give it a little time to load up. And there should be all of our info. Full addresses on there. Sales prices on there. Postal code. Street address. All the way down. Sure. All right. Everything else is cool. Finish. Now, we have the full address on there. Everything that we need is here into this unique table. But with Google, Google Fusion Tables, it allows us to do something unique, which is um, create a map on there. And so it's going to geocode for all of our um, for all of our different locations. Quality is very good. Four percent ambiguous. Steadily going down. Three percent. Just a few more to go. Yeah, and so now we have this map of um, all of the different locations. Should be about 43 different locations located here all throughout the United States. And so now we want to um, change the feature styles. And we want to change the map markers as buckets. I'm going to use say we use about five buckets and we're going to change it to the sale price so let's see let's make them um, large yellow make each one of them different and distinctive blue large red and then the final one will be large purple. Now we want to use this range right here for the different um, for the different dollar amounts. And then uh, let's upload that. Okay, so as you see, right here we got a lot of yellow, a lot of purple, a lot of blue. So um, let's figure out. So most of these find fall in between about three hundred fifteen thousand and uh, three and a half million. So mm, I think we should break it up a little bit better than that. Let's go from three hundred fifteen thousand to about seven hundred fifty thousand, and then let's go from seven hundred fifty thousand to a million. And then from a million to five million, Ooh, erase all those, a million to five million. And then from five million to, uh, let's do 10 million. And then 10 million on out. Okay, I gotta be greater than, so let's do 10,000. One, on, is that 10 million? Let's see now. Alright, so now it's a little bit more creative. You see all the different ones. Change feature styles, add this legend right here. The legend is gonna be down in the right hand corner. Um, we're gonna show the legend and we're gonna hit save. Alright. So now you see we have a few in between the range of 315,000 to 750, a few from 750. Most of them are in between a million and five million expensive shoppers. And then one in each category, five million to 10 million and 10 million to 16,000. I mean 16 million. All right. So that's Google Fusion tables. Um, 
stay tuned for more to come.